internet historian has actually done a duo to the virus. I'm keen to watch this. The first one was actually really funny. Uh, before we start, what did he touch on in the first one? The first one... Hey, thanks for following, man. The first one he touched on... Uh, everyone going crazy, uh, buying and selling shit, and how Australia is, like, insane. I'm genuinely curious to see how this one goes. So let me turn this one up. Make sure you can hear it, because for some reason, last time, you guys could barely hear the video, and I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, all of my children. We're here today to test the launch of my new cyber rocket. It's Elon Musk. With this, I pledge what a man. that we will have a man on the Earth by the year 2030. Oh. But before we embark <laughs> it's just on a this Tesla journey, we must talk with about wings. some of the mistakes of the past. So that we are not doomed to repeat them. Anyway, it was a sunny day in downtown Wuhan, and people were coughing into each other's mouths, as is customary in that part of the world. <coughs> You're going viral, douchebag. I'm a big man, and I'm going to pull out my dick. February 2020. What? The virus is everywhere. The virus. Not again. But some were sneaking out. Oh, yeah, no, this is actually funny. I saw that on Facebook. This is, again, an Australian guy. Uh, dude, Australians are, like, own the only funny people on the planet. Everyone else is just boring. Oh, man, I hope you didn't work too hard. Yo, Yanni, thanks for the host of 13, man. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hopefully you had a good one. No inting this time. Hey, any inting? I didn't think so. Ah, <laughs> uh, I said no inting. That, that, none of that. <laughs> that shit, dude. Taking it seriously at all. Directly in face. People were outside, going about their normal lives. Get drunk before everything closes. It was time for drastic action. Mm. Did that actually happen? So, the mayors and governors from around the world gathered together with a solution to the Who the fuck are these guys? While grounded. Sound like an Snitching <gasps> Snitches get rewards. Ooh. Simply take a picture of someone and text it to the official snitch line to put those <laughs> rule breakers in their place. What's up, boys? It's Asmongol. Over here at Wendy's. What a scoop! <laughs> Instant justice. Some people need to get Kill a him. message, send a photo, and we will make sure that enforcement comes right away. But naturally, Someone kill him. many New Yorkers did not take very kindly. Holy shit, he's spitting. So, they decided to text the hotline as well. Text after text came rolling in. What a success. I've Let's never heard of one. this. Surprise. Turns out people weren't just sending in tips. They were sending the whole shaft. Oh, <laughs> next <laughs> oh, one. Okay. Next. 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 Just close it. I can't. It's just going faster. <laughs> text after text was the same. Pictures of people giving the finger. Dick pics. Edgy blasio Oh, memes. dick pics. This isn't helping at all. Nice. Sir, our servers can't handle this amount of erotica all at once. Well, save some of the more tasteful nudes on this thumb drive and shut it down. And so it crashed. But the snitches forgot the first Where? rule of snitching. Mm-hmm. Snitches, snitches get unmasked by state sunshine laws. In Ooh. Missouri, they have them. What's wait? Stun the sunshine laws is that? I think what they also call. Look, this is me just completely spitballing off the top of my brain. I usually know what I say is completely false. It's like the Good Samaritan law, but different, right? Own snitching program went live. Turned out it was all subject to public record by anyone who requested it. So not only is all of this information not anonymous or private, it's published indefinitely on oh, a government shit. website with zero redaction. Oh dear. Yeah, that's course, not good. I'm not going to put any of those details here. But if you live in Missouri and you're a bit curious... The links, as always, are in the description down below. In Washington <laughs> and Louisiana, people were unmasked too. In Frisco, Texas, they made an app for snitching as well. Why? There was backlash and it was terminated. In LA... The I'm confused. Why did they think... That snitching on other people is just the way to go. It's the, uh, dude. I know how to get these guys. I have. I have the. We're gonna. We're gonna stop the virus. We're gonna stop the virus immediately. How we're we gonna do it? Is we're gonna set the people on each other. <laughs> if there's murder in the streets, there's no one left. No virus. Just get the statement was walked back. 
In Victoria, a couple was fined $1,500 each for going on a drive to Lake's entrance and posting photos on social media. You there, sir? Uh, I certainly hope you've got a license. Well, warned that if they did it again, they would be arrested. Except the photos were from a year ago. We're not going to get everything right all the time, and we will make mistakes. But worst of all, God was the bless. UK. Nine coppers for one lad. Well, you really ridiculous. Yeah. One hundred and ninety-four thousand. Holy shit! A single the motherland. Made regarding people leaving their homes without a license, <laughs> and tens of thousands of fines have been issued. The British frown down on telltales. There's even an old nursery rhyme. Telltale tit, your tongue shall be slit. You make any more noise, and I'm calling the police. <laughs> okay. Show me what you've got. Yeah. And yet, while normal everyday activities were being criminalized, regular crimes were being made de facto legal. Good job. The police do nothing around here. <laughs> and in major cities, it seemed as though everyone was going for the high score. Oh shit, dude, I, conf I forgot about the looting. Oh my god, I can't, I can't even believe I forgot. There was a looting. When the virus first hit, there was looting. I can't believe I forgot about that. People aren't afraid to go out on the street at night. What, what a world we live in when I forget summer? about that. I have an idea. In New York and LA, they experimented with reducing bail to zero. And it went exactly as you'd expect. But it wasn't enough. What? So they said, any burglaries up to a thousand dollars worth of goods would no longer result in the police showing up to the scene. What? So you're telling me that I can steal up to a thousand dollars worth of goods and the police won't even try to make an arrest? Well, well, maybe one day, if somehow they're identified. But you want everyone to wear a mask, too. Yes. <laughs> so people walked up okay. to the buffet and had their fill. If you could walk into a store, camera focusing on Mike, want, and just go. That's nah, just this. What would shopping look like? Oh my god! Call the police! Welcome to Amazon Go. Amazon Yoinkies. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Yep. Take whatever you like. Sometimes when I call 911, nobody answers. No lines, no checkout. No. Seriously. Shoplifters Dude. don't seem to care who's watching. Once you have everything watch? you want, you can just go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Amazon Go. Not enough crime. Release the felons. So it was ordered. Anyone who had non-violent misdemeanors, serving sentences of less than a year, or scheduled to be free in 30 days or fewer, was released. I'm... And the result... I'm genuinely curious, man. This shit happened? Predictable. One man only lasted 37 minutes before being arrested. <laughs> Another man was arrested three times in one day. Oh, that's actually pretty Just impressive. Attempting to break into a vehicle, next for stealing items out of someone's front yard, and then again for stealing a vehicle. And each time he was arrested, he just moonwalked out of there. I'm well, so confused. Time he got arrested for stealing a vehicle. So apparently he's not very good at it. Crime rates went right through the ceiling. Famous criminal time. Oh. Takashi69 was released early from his age. Big! Look at him! He instantly broke Instagram and YouTube records with his live stream and music video. Yep! Other high profile names asking for early release include R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Martin Screlly, and our good friend Billy McFarland. Why Martin Screlly? Bill Cosby broke Instagram. Who the fuck, Martin Screlly? broke Instagram and YouTube Why does he look like someone YouTube. I know? Other high profile names asking for early release include R. Kelly. Do I know who he is? Martin Screlly. Who is this guy? And our good friend Billy McFarland. 
Breakout time. Then some prisoners came together with an idea. What's your plan? Well, if we have an outbreak at our <laughs> prison, then maybe they just have to let some of us go. Worth a shot. So prisoners at the North County Correctional Facility tried passing around water containers and shared a mask to get it. It worked, somewhat, as 30 prisoners soon tested positive for the virus. But then administrators cottoned on to what they were doing, and none of them were released. Okay. I'm confused. Why would getting sick make them not guilty anymore? <laughs> Speaking of people who should be in prison, celebrities. We have forgotten about the important people. Guys, we're bored too. They crave the attention. They need it. Without it, they will surely shrivel and perish. But when everything sure. gets shut down and they're trapped in their homes and can't get on TV, they begin to go a little stir. Is that what they do without a okay, script? Guys, they just like fall apart. Feeling the struggle right now. Without television and press following you around, you need to make yourselves trend. <gasps> we need you now. Is more this than the ever. Jimmy? Jimmy, female. Every Jimmy, day. You're the funny guys, you must continue working from home. Your biggest competitor now is a Swedish boy that reacts to funny videos <laughs> on his kitchen floor. Sounds doable. It was toilet paper. It was a huge box of. I was like a. <laughs> Kid on the toilet on Christmas morning. 60 double rolls of heaven. You get to play that fun game, protect you from the coronavirus or a botched nose job. Or both. Everyone in here is gay. Hello, everybody out there. No, nope. that shut it down. How about an uplifting song? Holy shit, the without the laugh track, that's fucking yikes. <laughs> oh. I love uplifting music. Thank you, gal. Ah, oh, this is it. Oh, this is it. Imagine there's no heaven. This is not the time when everyone's Grammys dying, you fucking idiot. You feel like they that they feel like they did something yeah. significant. Yeah. She's so happy. Gal Gadot, whatever fuck That's her what name I is, Wonder her. Woman. I lost my job at the meatpacking plant, but Gal Gadot sang Imagine. <laughs> and it's a today. terrible version. You guys suck at singing. <laughs> you guys suck at singing. Madonna, how about an inspirational speech to lift those faces? I mean, <sighs> spirits. That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about... Sense that not for monetization for the common good. <laughs> it's the great equalizer. And what's terrible about it is what's great about it. What's terrible about it is it's made us all equal in many ways. I'm so confused. What's wonderful about it is that it's made us all equal in many ways. Jesus Christ. Maybe just stick to singing. This is no more pasta. Oh no. Eat some fried fish. Okay, not bad. Let's try somebody else. Keep it positive, you know. Drake. Thank you, Cardi. You really <laughs> are the voice of reason. Government, let me tell you motherfucking something. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus. Shit is getting real. Well, that was... Vanessa, <laughs> you can speak to your fans. You seem to have a lot of free Dude, what's moment. with celebrities and not being able to actually like put sentences together? I I hate how he's made this into a cringe compilation, but I actually like it at the same time because it just makes me feel so much better than these idiots. Because I sit here and I'm never cringe. I, I never cringe, dude. Right? Like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible, but like <coughs> inevitable. Oh God. Oh jeez, we're losing them. You guys in your massive houses and complaining isn't relatable at all. We need to meet them on their level. I've got this. Cry for a second. And I was gonna do it by myself and then I thought, you know what? It's important for everybody. <laughs> but before I continue, add time. Do I skip it? The name's Ray. Ray Con. But you can call me Ray Con Man. Okay, maybe not. Dude, he does a such a good Dear job with ads, dude. I got you a present. Thanks, son. Uh, let's go through <laughs> the old football around in celebration of my new present. 
wired headphones with wires. <laughs> why, son? Why? You're responsible. No. Never again. Gotcha. Wired headphones, you dangerous bitch. Wait, what? Huh? I can't hear you. I have my everyday E25 radio <laughs> in. I'll save you. Well, uh, there's another one. Don't That's worry, it. I'll save you too. Now YouTube kiss. Six hours of playtime, half the price of other premium brands. Raycon good. Wires bad. Will you seamlessly connect your Bluetooth with me? Can I get a closer look? Wow, I love the range of <laughs> colors they come in. Of course I will. Let me just put them in right now. Wow, they fit so snug. Wow. I think I'll put mine in as well. Just don't insert them into other holes. Hey, Doc, it's happened again. <laughs> on good. Wires bad. No, wait. Clean it as easy as one, two, three. What's wrong? Don't want to live in cyberpunk and have your brain all f***ed up by 5G? slash internet store and save 15 percent off your first order of the everyday even 25 earbuds from raycon add over nice Thank good ad thank you thank you for not doing script it's time for an uplifting story prim murty pandy 56 works at mumbai airport is that the guy from temple of doom <laughs> wanted to be with his family but they were in allahabad and he was stuck in andheri east just fly no flights just drive. Not so simple. Roads are closed to all non-essential travel. Okay. Hmm. He walks. So he hatched a plan. Don't walk. I'll become an essential traveler. He started with a test case. He hired a truck and drove 200 kilometers to Pimpelgia. Bought 1,300 kilograms of watermelon. Hmm, so good. Come to terms with the already large quantity of melons we already have. And sent the truck <laughs> back to Mumbai where he had a cellar. Success. Wasn't stopped. Even sold the goods at a profit. Nice. Right, central traveler now, boys. Time to do it again. But this time, all the way home. So he hired another truck. Got an onion permit. And this time bought 25,520 kilograms of onions. That's a lot of onions, man. He disguised himself as an onion seller. I don't know what that looks like. So here's this. <laughs> he 1,200 kilometers over three grueling days and nights through three states to get home. He makes it. Now to sell the goods and see my family. He stopped at the wholesale market just on the outskirts of town and tried to find a buyer for the onions. Except, nobody wanted them. Onions? Anyone? Onions? Because of the lockdown, there was a huge glut in the market. Oh, that's a big onion. Look at that. Woo! Onion. Onion. Everybody loves onions. Onions? Onions? There's too many people selling onions, man. Daddy's coming home, and he's smelling of onions. <laughs> but the late afternoon, he just gave up and drove the truck to his house to be with his family. However, the next day... Knock, knock. It's the police. Oh, no. You're not oh, here to no! <laughs> and they were not. So he spent the next two weeks in the quarantine center, and he's still looking for a buyer for the onions. Mr. Clean, get rid of dirt and grime. Hand sanitizer. Just one drop. No, I want to read this. I want to read this. Dozens of hands cradled close as if in prayer for those a ration of precious... What the fuck? Sakua? 99% effective was the promise it made. What about the missing 0.1%? This is the hand sand shortage. Dude, a hand. Unsanitized. A hand uncovered. I need some hand sanitizer. When the outbreak first happened, there was one clear piece of advice from the WHO. Oh. Wash your hands. Both soap and hand sanitizer would work. 
but we had plenty of soap. So naturally, we panicked about the hand sanitizer. Good thinking. That's gold. That's gold. And panic soon turned to profit. <laughs> People had seen the rush on toilet paper, and they knew to get in quick. And two of the fastest shoppers in the West were entrepreneurial brothers Matt and Noah. How much money did they make, man? From town to town, state to state, buying up every bottle they could get their immaculately disinfected hands. <laughs> Hundreds. Grabber, grabber, grabber. By the end, thousands. 17,000 bottles in all. The plan? Sell them on eBay and Amazon at a huge markup. It was the perfect crime. It is, actually. Well, but? Until the inevitable happened. Amazon shut that shit down. Super mad. The New York Times, low on hand sanitizer themselves, decided to investigate the brothers. And they wrote an article. The unsterilized masses made complaints. I don't like this one bit. Please the cops immediately. <laughs> and then someone went to Jeff and told. <gasps> made their online account. <laughs> Why does Jeff look eBay like... <laughs> <laughs> Look like Voldemort for no reason. The They've done the dirty. DA said, price gouging illegal. Yep. Me angry. So the authorities called up Matt and Noah. Hey guys. Hey, good to hear from you. You too. I'm afraid it's not entirely a social call though. Oh no? Yes. Price gouging illegal. Oh. So what you want? Uh, prison or philanthropy? We're sending over a squad car now. Oh. I have decided to give back to the community. So the police pull up, the media too, and Matt and Noah announce that they will be giving it all away for free. <laughs> they did an interview for television and wore this amazing shirt. The pricing on Amazon was higher than, it was definitely higher than retail. Would you say you're sorry? No, I don't think that I would. Note. A similar thing happened in Adelaide, Australia, when a man bought up hundreds of I mean, like, he tried to make money. How can you be so mad at that? He realized he couldn't sell it. And tried to return it all back to Drake's I supermarket. Saw that. Drake himself told the guy to please leave. Fuck off. He has a YouTube channel, by the way. But this did little to abate the shortage of supply and overall <laughs> price gouging. But don't be too mad at these guys. They're small timers. Microscopic. Compared to child. Stop! Oh, sorry. What I mean is... Compared to the brave heroes at the CCP. This an outbreak. <laughs> Xi Jinping, our only hope. So a call was sent out to companies all around the world, especially in the West. We want you to send staff out to every retail store you can to buy up personal protective equipment, especially masks. Holy shit, the PPE. And ship it all back to China. Thank you, Xi Jinping. All in a day's work. What the, the fuck? The scale here, by the way, is just ridiculous. Millions of face masks. Three million masks. 2.4 billion pieces of protective equipment. Thermometers. 700,000 hazmat all suits. All flown out on a private jet. We just wanted to ask you guys what all these products are and where they're going. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're going back to China. <laughs> And notice that there were no <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it that's where they're going. Why would they lie at that point? Like... It was because there was a big export. And then when other countries had a shortage, the CCP swooped in to sell locally manufactured masks back to Europe and the United States at an escalated price. Only then later for them to be found defective and needing to be recalled. Got him again. Anyway, back to the hand sanitizer specifically. There was a shortage. Yeah, there was. So New York Governor and I have hand sand in my room, actually. We have too much, almost. It's up to me now. He unveiled his new line of hand sanitizer. Open the curtain, please. NYS Clean. A 75% alcohol strength concoction made by the humble citizens of Great Meadows Correctional Facility. Floral bouquet. Little I detected. Lilac. Hydrangea. Tulips. What does it smell like to you? They were capable of Smell my hand. thousand gallons every week. It was much cheaper than any other product. Holy market. shit, 65 cents an hour. was pretty much zero. Other pharmaceutical items that disappeared fast were vitamins, yep. cough medicine. And Panadol for no reason. Critically, inhalers. How many ohms you vaping there? It was tough for the asthmatics. <laughs> How many ohms you vaping? Their feeble bodies. <laughs> their weak lungs. Embarrassing. 
everybody laughs at the asthmatics, even if we, you know, pretend and say nice things to their face. The next big one would asthmatics are just vape people. Was I was gonna say vapists, but that sounds. Out, there was a run on, surprisingly, condoms. The thinking man's glove. If you need to press a button on the elevator or push a trolley around the grocery store, no problem. Just use your cock. <laughs> Story. Ape escape. <gasps> In a medical city yeah. In Delhi, this no, is I remember this as well. Son of a bitch. I'm in. True story, right? Some red-faced rhesus macaques tired of their situation go rogue. They bust out of their cage and attack a researcher, snatching well. COVID blood sample as they make their way to the exit. Give well. me that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put that down, bad monkey. They make a break for it, evading staff and guards, and leap out the window to freedom. Didn't they just break out of a zoo, my guy? <laughs> Ray or Mojo. One was later seen in a tree, chewing on one of the samples. Ooh. Wait, this actually happened? In a further act of defiance, another was seen chewing on a surgical glove. Apparently it's become a big problem in Delhi. Monkeys everywhere. They snatch people's stuff and even break into homes. Can even it kill. Seems that nature isn't just returning peacefully. It's come back with a vengeance. And if we intend to survive, we're gonna have to learn to fight back. Is he just punching a tree? With this knowledge, we will conquer Earth and rule over it once again. <coughs> oh no. It's here. And that's about it. Probably no part three unless something ridiculous happens like an autonomous zone in Portland or the government shutting off utilities. Plugging the second channel again, you bet. We've got a feature length Sonance review coming out in a very, month. very so great video, before. my guy. So grab... Happy to call him an Australian. Dude, I told you, the Aussies are the only funny people ever. Everyone else is dumb and stupid and big idiots. True. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks for joining. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the little video in the end. Uh, I'll catch you on here tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. Try and get some sleep tonight. I'm really tired myself. Night, everybody.